All right, welcome to Tazuno Big Online Mathematics. We are continuing with the tutorial we are doing on just ended to 1C 2023 question paper. We are on question number 8, which is on quadratic graph. We have to copy this very table and complete with the values radial or negative plane to plane using the equation 2x squared minus x minus 4. Meaning we need to put in a value to x into this equation in order to get what? The missing y values. And when we are done, we are going to use a scale of 2 centimeters to 1 unit on the x axis, 2 centimeters to 2 units on the y axis, and plot this point on the graph. Then from there, we use the graph to stop the following point. Let's get started. Alright, so let's see. We know the equation is in this form. So from here, we are going to pick the values of x that is missing from the table. So now we have a negative 2. So when x is negative 2, what should be the value of x? Value of y. So I'll be having 2 into bracket x value negative 2 squared minus then into bracket x value which is still negative 2 minus 4. When they get to this place, we think it because of a negative, we'll be writing only 2. That will be wrong. Because the minus is not affecting the x in this thing. X is a negative 2. So if you square a negative 2, you'll be having a positive 4 times 2 will give us 8. That is 4 times 2, 8. This is going to be a negative 1 times negative 2. That gives us a positive 2. Then minus 4. This will give us 10. Then we subtract 4, we give you 6. Or this minus this will be negative 2 plus 8. That will still give you what? A 6. So when x value moves to negative 1, the value of y becomes 2 negative 1 squared minus 1 minus 4. This is positive 1. So 2 plus 1, then minus 4. This is 3 minus this to negative 1 to be the value of y when x is negative 1. Then, when x becomes positive 1, y will be 2, 1, minus 1, minus 4. This will be 2, minus 1, minus 4. Right here, we have 1, minus 4, that would be negative 3. The next point to find And if we still have 8, minus 2, minus 4. I think that will give us 8. 8 minus this is 6. 6 minus 4 will give us 2. Then on the final point, when x is 3, y becomes 8 will be 9. Times this, you are going to have 18 minus 3, minus 4. 15 will be here. Positive 15 minus uh, 4. That would be positive 11. Okay, so now that we have the values of missing y coordinate, let's put it in here. And for a negative 2, we will be having 6. For a negative 1, our answer will still be a negative 1. For a positive 1, we have a negative 3. 2 will give us. Then 3 will give us 11. Meaning on our graph, we are going to use this pair or ordered pairs in plotting the graph. So let's see how that will look on the graph paper. Alright, so now that we have the completed table, we are now going to plot that on the graph. Now, using the conditions given to us, it is 2 centimeters, which is the bigger box. A 2 centimeters to 1 unit. Meaning from here to here to be one. Then from here to here one. That would be one, two, three on the x axis. So you can see 
This is the origin, zero, one, two, three, four. It could be five. Now, you can see the graph is tilted down because if you come to the y axis, we have more positive values than what? Negative values. I'm having only three negative values with the highest value being what? Negative four. So if I have a division here, the graph is just going to be here and then up, which I need more points. So I have to tilt the graph down in order to have all those values in there. Beginning with negative three on the x axis, going to be here, that will give us a 17 on the y axis. We know 16, 17, then we have a negative three here. So the first point is going to be plotted there. A negative two on the x axis will give us a 26. In this way, I have my second point. Negative one will be negative one, so that will be moving downwards. Zero, negative one. The point is going to be at this point. Let's go to zero. On the x axis, a negative four on the y axis, so that will be here. We are moving straight forward to one. On the x axis, a negative three. That will be somewhere here. We are going to two. That will be two. Meaning we are going to a positive direction. Two, two. Will be somewhere here. Then a three will give us eleven. So it is ten. So eleven will be somewhere here. So now we are going to join all these points to form our curve. So you can see if you connect all the points together, your curve is going to go this way. We know when a curve holds water, it means the coefficient of our x squared is positive. So you can see we are having a curve that holds water on the u shape. Now we are going to use this to find the solution to the following question. First, we have to find the root of the equation this. You can see this is just the mirror version of our equation. We have y equals this. So we are going to compare the two equations. If I have y equals to 2x squared minus x minus 4, and I have this equation which I can decide to put 0 first before 2x squared minus x minus 4. First subtraction. If I subtract the two equations, you know, 2x squared minus 2x squared gives you 0. This and this, they all be 0. You will be left with only y equals to 1, 0. So the solution to this equation is that a line passing through what? y equals 0. And y equals 0 is directly our x axis. So where does the curve we are drawing cut the x axis? Those two points become the solution to the equation or the root of the equation. I know I'm having an interval of four. One, so the division is going to be 10. So the curve is cutting the, the x axis here and this point. So this will be your x1 and this will be your x2. What do we get there? Each individual division is going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So negative 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. It is going to be 1.1, to 1.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6. To here, our solution is going to be x equals to negative 1.2 and positive 1.46. That becomes the solution to this equation, or better still, the root of the equation. Now, for the second part which is finding the values of x for which y increases as x also increases. We have to go into the graph and see. You see, if you look at the y axis, it looks like that is the line of symmetry. But you can check and see if that is actually the line of symmetry, which is x equals to negative b over 2a. We are going into this. This is your a. Your b is a negative one, the coefficient. So I have the negative in the formula into bracket b, which is negative 1, 2 is the formula, and 2 is a. 
You know, negative, negative, that give us a positive one, then two, two, four. Index one, that will be zero point two five. So it means our line of symmetry is going to pass somewhere here other than being the y axis. And what is going to be uh, zero? This is point one. 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So 2.5 5 will be 0 0.25 will be in this line. So this is going to be our line of symmetry. So now we are going to locate from the line of symmetry the values of x definitely on the x axis. With the values of y will be increasing with the curve. So if I take the curve moving this way. You can see as I am traveling along this curve, the values of x keep on moving from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, meaning x is increasing. Let's check on the y axis and see whether if I am moving up, will the values of y also be increasing? As I move from negative 4, I climb to negative 2, to 0, positive 2, positive 5. You can see the values of y also increasing. So we are going to begin on this side, which is 0 0.25 up to the 3, that is the values of x. Where y increases, x also increases. So we can present our answer in this form as 0 0.25 is a range. It's less than x, less or equals to 3. We are including the 3 because that's where the graph ends. Here we are taking it because that is the line of symmetry. So that would be the range for the values of x, for which y is having an increase and x also have increase. Good. That will help us find the minimum point. We know the minimum point is the turning point of the graph. The minimum values of what? Y. We know every point make use of x and y. So the, the turning point of the curve is here. The turning point is on the line of symmetry. So this is going to be a negative 4 on the x as is a positive 0.25. That will be the point. But you are looking for only the values of y. So what will that be? I think that will be in connection with four, negative 1. So the minimum point of y is going to be a negative 4. But the minimum point itself will be. 0 0.25 and negative 4. 0 0.25 is the values on the x axis. I believe uh, we have exhausted all the questions asked using the graph. Any question in this form can be following the same approach. First, finding the values in the table, constructing your table as a drawing the table, then use the graph to find the other questions. I believe if this is clear for you, try to share with your learning bits. Anybody on your contact that will need this kind of tutorial and let them subscribe, comment, and share. Bye.